we have to talk. And, yep. Because by the title of this video, you already know that we got a new car. And, uh, yeah, it's not a Mustang. So, we have to talk about it. As many of you guys know, I love Mustangs. Matter of fact, the only sports car that I ever own. If you don't count, I apologize one minute. So like I was saying, I had to put my dog inside the house because um, it was messing up the audio. So as many of you guys know, I love Mustangs. Matter of fact, the only sports cars that I ever had before, I mean besides my Civic hatchback, because I did have a Civic hatchback. That was my very, very first car single cam I mean it wasn't a sports car but it's always been Mustangs matter of fact I'm kind of obsessed with them and uh, I do have my favorite car that one over there that to be honest it isn't going anywhere so what type of car is it so without further ado let's find out So, we're in my new to me 1999 Mazda Miata. And I know I'm not doing this car justice by keeping the top up, but I'm trying to capture audio. So matter of fact, I'm gonna put the AC and bring the, the windows up. Just so we could get a little bit better audio and that way you, could, you guys could hear me out. So why did I get a Miata? And there's many answers to that. Hopefully, I mean, I see the camera shaking a little bit. Hopefully, we're, we're capturing a decent audio. And I'm gonna make a separate video as of why did I get a Miata, but there are many answers to that. And what I wanna get at is um, just driving purpose. This car, it's a driver's car. And what I mean is uh, it has everything that a driver needs. It has a really nice, gearbox I mean the position where you sit the seats are very comfortable you're sitting very low to the ground your steering position your steering wheel it's almost perfect the way that you sit where you hold the wheel it's a very comfortable and natural position to drive another reason why this car uh, for the price point it has a unique specific chassis to this car and, and for a car that is a sports car, that is very, very important. Why? Because you can do many things to handle. I need a daily because I had a 2017 Sonata Turbo and that was on a lease and the lease came out. As many of you guys know I, I have and my channel is based on a 2003 uh, Mustang Cobra that I own. And previous to that, I had a 2004 Mustang GT. So I'm always used to um, VA power cars, rear wheel drive. Um, this is definitely a new rodeo uh, for me and I wanna take you guys with me. This doesn't mean that I'm gonna abandon at all content for the Cobra. That is my all time favorite car. And that's something that, you know, it's coming and it's definitely, there's a lot more content. There's a lot more, I wanna do some more racing with it. And, uh, but that's a car that I'm taking things slowly because I wanna conserve and preserve the car as much as possible. As you guys know, it has 40,000 miles. And uh, well, I wanna do most of the racing uh, and, and learn how to drive a car, go to an autocross event, you know, maybe possibly a track day. Uh, it's with this car and uh, yeah this is my daily it has AC it has currently 153,000 miles and it's not perfect it's not a perfect car at all it has a check engine light it has a misfire 
and uh, yeah, it's 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 not perfect, but I, I love that it's not perfect because that means that I could just go out and have fun with it and enjoy it for what it is, you know. Gearbox on this car, it's amazing. The shifts are very notchy, they're very positive, and you every time you go into gear, it's just, it's just a good feeling. Now, what are we dealing with? This is a 1999 Miata, so it comes with a 1.8 dual overhead cam, four cylinder, it produces a whopping, you ready? 140 horsepower and I believe 115 pound feet of uh, foot pounds of torque as you can see going through the shifts is very 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 a very enjoyable um oh it's a new edge nice V6 good color uh it's a very positive and, and very uh engaging an enjoyable experience this is also a great first learner car so i am planning to teach reteach my girlfriend how to drive stick shifts because she knows how to drive it but you know i'm not so confident with the, the cobra with over 450 probably to the wheels in that car a mistake on that car you know it's not it's not really good okay first give it gas Give it gas. Bring the RPMs up. Come on. Slowly, slowly, slowly. There you go. There you go. You got it. You know, say so. It's a lot of power going to the real wheels. And this is a this is very forgiving with the throttle. You know, it doesn't have a ton of power. Um, but yeah, it's 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 just nice. It's just so much fun to go around town. Now, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. You know, like I said. Uh, you hear a lot of rattles inside this cabin. Uh, when you put the top up, you feel a lot of wind noise. And cruising on the highway, if you got 60, you're okay. But since this is, this is only a five-speed car, when you go on 70, 75, 80, you're revving up to 4,000 RPMs. So that's something that you have to take into account. If you do a lot of highway cruising with this car, it's not fun. But around time, it's phenomenal. It gets crazy good gas mileage. And I'm always revving this thing. I'm always, I don't know if you can hear that little force in me. And another thing that I like, it revs to 7,000 RPMs, which is not a ton, but it's, it's good enough, you know? And, and it's a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun to go around time. And another thing, um, going back to the chassis of the car, you could really put this car into a corner and it handles just like a gold car. I'm not, I'm kidding you not. This this car handles so well. And uh, let's face it, it's 21 year old car. It probably has worn out bushings and the handling still feels phenomenal. Stock shocks, stock springs, everything. And you could go literally, go 30 miles per hour make a, a, a 90 uh, degree uh, turn on a corner and it just turns no drama no nothing it just it's amazing because the shaft like I was going back the chassis of this car it was the size of Civic for this car and let's face it this is not a lot of it's not a heavy car it's only 2300 pound car it's a thousand three hundred pounds lighter than my old three Cobra think about that 1,300 pounds and when you're going on turns weight is something that you really feel and with this car it's it's not pressing it really is impressive so I don't want to give you a full review of the car but just want to kind of touch on the reasons why I got this car and I feel like this audience has grown because of you Hopefully you guys stick to this and you know this is something different. I always wanted this channel to be more than, than the Mustangs. You know, I, I love Mustangs and I love creating um, 
content for the new Wedge platform because that's it's my favorite platform um, for Mustangs. But um, I, I love cars. You know, you know. I don't care if they're American. They're you know. I love Supras. I love um, all type of cars to be honest. And I don't know. I just I just enjoy doing reviewing cars talking about cars and, and you know learning about different cars and, and things that you know of that nature as long as it has you know three pedals six shift hey I'm happy 